Hello there, I'm Amanda from Langmaster Learning System. In today's lesson, I want to share with you common inversion structures in daily conversation and how to use them correctly. Are you ready? Let's begin. First, let me explain to you what inversion really is. Inversion means in several circumstances, you put the verb before a noun. So the order in the sentence is changed. Inversion is not a must in sentences. It is based on how you choose to use the word. There are several circumstances where you can use inversion. First, do you remember in the previous lesson relating to conjunctions, I mentioned this correlative conjunction, scarcely when? If you watch the lesson carefully, I believe you would find this structure special more than the others. This is the first type of inversion I want to mention. We have this structure, scarcely plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus verb plus when plus subject plus verb. For example, this is how it is normally said. She scarcely came home when her brother went out. And when you use inversion, it will be like this. Scarcely did she come home when her brother went out. Remember, we only use inversion in the first clause, starting with scarcely. We don't use it in the second clause, starting with when. The second structure we have, hardly when. This structure is the same as the previous structure. Hardly plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus verb plus when plus subject plus verb. For instance, a regular sentence would say this. I had hardly gone to school when James came to my house. And here's an example with an inversion. Hardly had I gone to school when James came to my house. Third, we have inversion with never. Here is the structure. Never plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus verb. For example, here is an example without inversion. I never drink coffee in the morning. And now here is an example with an inversion. Never do I drink coffee in the morning. Let's have another example. This is a normal sentence without an inversion. He never goes to the bar after midnight. And here is an example with an inversion. Never does he go to the bar after midnight. Like I have mentioned, inversion is not a must. But if you put never in the beginning of the sentence, then you need to use inversion. If you don't, then you don't have to. Now, with the word seldom, we have this structure. Seldom plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus verb. For instance, this is a normal sentence. We seldom meet such a wonderful man. And when we use the inversion, seldom do we meet such a wonderful man. Another example. He seldom studies hard for exams. Seldom does he study hard for exams. Next, we have inversions with only. Only then, only later, only after, only when, only if. Noun, verbing, plus auxiliary, plus subject, plus verb. For example, you can earn more money only after working hard. Only after working hard can you earn more money. 
We also have inversion with so. Here is the structure. So plus adjective plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus that plus subject plus verb. Here is the regular sentence. She was so kind that everybody liked her. And we have the inversion. So kind was she that everybody liked her. With such, we have this structure. Such plus be plus subject plus that plus subject plus verb. For instance, a normal sentence we have, the extent of the damage was such that the car was ruined. Then we have, such was the extent of the damage that the car was ruined. Next, we have an inversion with not only, but also. Here is the structure. Not only plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus verb plus but plus subject plus also plus verb. For instance, with the sentence, he is not only good at math, but he is also good at history. And here's the inversion. Not only is he good at math, but he is also good at history. The last structure I want to mention is about no and not. No or not plus noun, plus auxiliary verb, plus subject, plus verb. Here's an example for not. She did not buy a single dress yesterday. Not a single dress did she buy yesterday. Here's an example for no. I have no idea at the moment. No idea do I have at the moment. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and can understand how to use inversions correctly. If you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And comment on what you want to learn next. See you next time.